Hi, how you doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live. I'm here with a very special guest. It's Mike from Cannery. How are you doing today, Mike? Good. No, thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your company? Sure. I know you guys are private. You're about to go public. So tell us a little bit about it and let the investors at home know why they should be looking at your company. Sure. We, uh, we're we bringing the picks, picks and shovels approach to the cannabis industry. So uh, we were founded in the middle of 2018 and uh, in our first six months of operation, we generated a million dollars in revenue and finished wow. out our first cal full calendar year here in 2019 with about $7 million in revenue. We've got expansion into uh, the California marketplace. And, and so what we do is marketing, branding, and custom packaging, but uh, uh, we're, we're almost like a mini Kush supply. Uh, the, our biggest revenue line is vape hardware. And so um, as you're probably aware, the vape crisis uh, that's the mark has impacted the market yes. recently here. We, uh, um, we saw that as an opportunity. And so we launched our own line of, of really highly, uh, highly premium uh, vape hardware products into the market place and uh, uh, we're, we're looking to do 20 million dollars in revenue this year based on wow. on that so yeah yeah we uh, we just take some of the pain for the licensees out of the process uh, it allows them to mitigate uh, their risk and, uh, and whatnot but uh, that's kind of in a nutshell what we do and when are you guys planning on going public we're we're hoping market conditions we were uh, we were looking at the fall here but market conditions kind yeah, of deteriorated not a good time. <laughs> no not a good time and so no. yeah yeah so we're, we're really hopeful that market conditions are improving now I think we're starting to see that and uh, you know you're seeing the wheat being separated from the chaff here as yes. well uh, you know companies with with actual revenue good run rates good management uh, are going to be successful I think in the market this spring here so we're, we're hoping within the next six months so so you did mention Kushko they're one yeah. of the biggest bottling companies in America yeah what is going to separate you from the pack are you similar to them is there anything that you do that makes you guys unique What's going to make you guys yeah, we, stand out? We we have we have great respect for Kush Supply. Uh, uh, they've they've uh, uh, they, they've really put a, a fantastic business model forward, and, and we think we can emulate that. And we think that there's lots of market niches where we're able to maybe penetrate. There, uh, um, you know, we distribute several different lines of vape cartridge. Uh, you know, we know what the margins are for them on the products they're distributing, and so we've sought to you know to expand our product offering. Uh, you know, with with factory direct offerings, and um, you know our own engineered line of products and stuff with higher margins and so we think there's there's lots of room in the marketplace for companies like that that are you know providing the picks and shovels to the industry right so now you guys are in a industry that's a hyper growth industry yep. I'm a huge cannabis enthusiast been around yep. cannabis my whole life being in Canada it's like yep. always been around me yep. um, now it's like almost a dream come true to be in this sector but it's almost been a nightmare in some ways for a lot of companies what type of environment is that creating for you trying to get into this right now well, is it complicated is it difficult is it are you kind of tiptoeing your way into public going public because it's it's a tough time to go public right now yeah. in a sector that's been down for nine months straight yeah. what do you think about that yeah and it's it's provided uh, you know a lot of pause for concern and some consternation for sure but uh, i think we have such a fantastic you know growth story for the market here that, that this is the kind of thing that 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 really the market is looking for you know we, we don't touch we work with all aspects of the cannabis industry but we never touch the plants so regulatory compliance is very easy for us where we're able to operate you know uh, transnationally actually internationally uh, you know as these markets expand into europe on the vape side you know so we're you know we're seeing all kinds of growth opportunities as the world starts to you know legalize medically and then recreationally and so there's uh, there, there's just lots and lots of opportunity and and we've got a, f a fantastic uh, team and and you know we expect we can capitalize on those opportunities I think it's very smart I'm a huge fan of Gary Varnerchuk you heard of Gary yeah, V yeah, yeah, Gary V is a huge cannabis enthusiast yeah. and he says that he believes that this sector is not even in the first inning it's not even in the first inning. I yeah. could not com concur I don't know more if you've yeah. heard him, but he's like yeah. He goes, you're, you're in the bathroom and they yeah. haven't even thrown out the first pitch yet. No, exactly. This is like the beginning of the, the bubble that burst in the tech sector. Yeah. This is like 1995. Like we haven't even had that bubble burst yet and people are, are failing. He goes, but this is good. This is good. And yep. his belief is, and he's very successful clearly, his belief is that the biggest and the best companies haven't even been identified yet. Yeah. So could you guys be one of those growth stories? Uh, well, I, I, 
I, I, I would think we can definitely be a really positive growth story. Whether we're one of those giant companies is remains to be seen. Of and I'm just far too humble to say that's us. But uh, but yeah, we, we see lots of room in the industry. And you know, a good example is we've we've got really good connectivity in Latin America already. And it's very early in there. It's like maybe Canada in 2015. You know, they're just starting yeah. to figure out legalization. But but uh, uh, you know, as as they transition, to, you know, to the legal medical markets and stuff. You know, we've we've already got uh, letters of intent with 68 Latin American companies wow. that are you know that want to get into this because they've totally. seen what's happened worldwide on this green rush into totally. the industry so yeah it's a it's a funny thing because yeah there's been a lot of failures yeah but there's also been a ton of money made i mean money like made, yeah. when you look at a guy like bruce linton yeah. who's probably benefited as much as anybody yeah. at one point he was worth a billion dollars yeah. from a small little company a lot of people can it be gross a huge company yeah. he's from smith's falls ontario smith falls, if you go to yeah. toronto and you ask somebody where smith's falls ontario is they don't know no <laughs> so a lot of people yeah. think that he comes from this he comes from a tiny little town and he took this little story and turned it into this global yeah. giant yeah. so if he can do it in my belief systems, anybody can do it. Yeah. So the timing might actually be perfect for yeah. someone like you yeah. because these guys have already paved the road. They've made a lot of mistakes along the way yeah. and you kind of know what Kushko did wrong. Because yeah. Kushko is a good company. They're doing a lot of revenue, but they don't have profit. Yeah. So what's you guys' margins gonna look like in the bottling? Do we got good margins to, yeah, to become we, profitable? We do, and that's, you know, that's why uh, it was so important for us to establish our own hardware line in this process because the margins are very, very slim, you know, 12, 13 percent. We, you know, we sold, we were distributors for C-Cell. You know, we were uh, very early on distributors for AVD too, so we know what the margins are for the existing cartridges. Uh, and, and that's why we went and, uh, you know, our team vetted 60 factories there. We've got, you know, complete uh, supply chain managed uh, process, and, and it's gonna enable us to, to you know, probably double those margins 26 27 percent we're hoping to accomplish here by the end of this year so you know we were profitable at six months in operation uh, you know we've got uh, positive cash flow now and so nice. yes yeah, so we're not in a huge hurry to go public and we want to wait until the market conditions are, are really favorable for us but uh, uh, you know we think this is a great opportunity for investors to, to jump on a, a, you know a rocket ship here a uh, rocket ship I like that uh, if you were speaking to the investors at home yeah. and you could tell them about your company and they're sitting on the fence and they've got some money and they're like, okay, I'm going to invest in one company. Why would it be your company? Whether it's pre-public or after you're public, why would they want to put that hard-earned money into this company? We, you know, e even though the industry is very young, we already have a proven record of success here in turn. We, you know, we're already achieving profit. We've, uh, you know, we weathered some incredible storms. And it, I just have to say the team and the management team, you know, the people, the personnel that we've got are, are fantastic. And, and you know, w nobody is, uh, you know, nobody's in, uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, anyway, nobody's in indispensable oh, yeah. on this. So, you know, we've, we've got, you know, we've got a really, uh, really deep bench on the team here. And, uh, you know, people that are committed to success with really great ideas. Ideas and it's you know it's it's about the team and the plan so oh that sounds great well you know what we wish you all the best in your future endeavors and we yeah, hope well, you thank have a you, lot Rich. of success yeah. and hopefully you get public and and you guys have a great success story and well thank you and investors can get great returns on their investment and we wish you all the best of luck thank you for coming on the show no thank you appreciate thank the you. opportunity I hope you yeah. enjoy the rest of the conference yeah. thank you guys for watching this is Mike from Canary have yourselves a great day thanks